afternoon guys it is a beautiful day today it's been sunny for the last like three or four days and we've been hitting massive targets on the uh, on the solar shed um, let's see if i can show you all right let's log into the old panel and open up the victron app and i think something is going to ask for a firmware update i believe i've seen this a minute ago um or yesterday i was, I was fiddling around with it yes yeah, so it's going to ask for a firmware update i haven't had time to do this yet so Right, I'm just going to hit update on that. So while that's doing that, I've been having a few chats in the comments section um, with you guys about different things. And there's a couple of really kind of knowledgeable, well there's more than a couple, there's a lot of knowledgeable people in the uh, in the comments section um, that watch the videos um, that have been saying about the solar panel setup and how like I've got it set up. Because at the moment I've got it set up in series. I've got two panels and I've got them set up in series. Now these are um like 200 watt panels each so they're quite big panels well i suppose they're not really that big but they're meant for rvs and caravans and stuff like that they're not like consumer house panels actually i don't really know what the difference is with those panels although i've seen that some of them go up to about 260 watts or something but i've been having quite a few interesting conversations um with you guys about the set the solar panels and how they're in series and a lot of you've been saying if you've got them in series then the voltage is a lot higher so your mppt controller has got to work harder um, to actually bring the voltage down to because I'm obviously using four life cells, LIFE cells. I mean, my peak voltage that I've actually seen is somewhere around like 90 volts, which is just bonkers if you're stepping that down to 12 volts. I kind of get the gist of this now. I was kind of thinking about, you know, why why does it matter? Because it's just wattage, and actually, the higher voltage running down a, a kind of long length of cable um, would be better because it would obviously wouldn't drop so much. So, higher voltage, lower current. Um, but a lot of you've been saying, don't worry about that. Just wire them in, in uh, parallel, because what can happen is if you've got partial shading on your on your panels, if one panel's in the sun and one isn't, um, then basically, yeah, this is this is going to cause you a problem because it's going to be the bottleneck. The one in the shade is actually going to restrict, um, you know, the power coming coming from the other one. So yeah, effectively, you're you're just sticking a resistor in the way, and this kind of makes sense. I've been looking into this more, reading online and stuff like that. Um, because it can actually also affect the panel itself because obviously a panel is made up of loads of cells and if half the panel's actually in the shade then you're going to get the same problem but you can limit it a little bit more by having the two panels connected in parallel and you know it might improve things and this makes an awful lot of sense you know because I was actually kind of looking in the morning I, I, the first thing I do is grab my phone in the morning and, and just kind of look you know as soon as the sun comes up and have a look on the monitoring control panel to see what's happening and I've noticed on the on the cloudy days, there's a lot of current coming in because obviously the light is evenly spread across both panels. But on the sunny days, it's less current because presumably half the panel is actually, well, one of the panels is in the shade. Now, one of the panels is in the shade because the house is actually, you know, in front of this shed. And I, I could, you know, I could put some panels, I could put the actual panels on the on the house to alleviate that problem. But... I want to save that roof for another setup eventually um, and then the cable's going to get complicated doing that. Anyway, so this morning I grabbed the camera and this is what I could see. So basically you can see that one panel is completely in the shade and the other one isn't. So this is causing me a big problem in the morning when the sun's out. So I actually yield more when it's cloudy, believe it or not, which is it's kind of odd, but that's just the way it works because there's less um, shadowing. So the plan today is to solve that problem and in here... I should have the bit I need, um, the T connectors I need to just parallel my solar panels together rather than series connect them. Right, here we go guys. So basically two panels, um, two positives into one, I don't know which one that is, whether it's a positive or a negative, but um, yeah, so you can see two panels um, will go into either one, and then these are your outputs. So you just basically parallel the two together. Should be pretty straightforward to do. Um, so I'm going to whiz up on the roof and do that now. The firmware is updated on this um, solar uh, controller so I can actually show you now um, what's been going on. So yeah, you can see 54 watts coming in. See this, hang on a second, what's going on here? It's asking me for another update. Right, okay, I'll just have to do that quickly. Right, that seems to have done now. 1.30, I don't know what it was before. All right, let's try and go into it again. All right, here we go. So yeah, you can see, I mean, it's pretty sunny and I'm only getting 2.6 or 3.6. It's cre creeping up now as it's turned on. But we're later in the day now, it's like half three. So what I'm finding with this is obviously the sun is moving over towards the end of the day. And then even though the panels are, are pretty much in, 
you know, the sunlight, they're not directly in the sunlight. So, you know, you're getting this drop. But it'll be interesting to see if this parallel will, will help that at all. I don't, I don't think it will, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, because I've had this system quite a while now, um, and I've been monitoring it constantly just at my desk while I've got all my other stuff. While I'm getting on with work, I've got the little um, control panel just up in the corner showing me what's happening. So I've got a good feeling for what it's going to produce at what particular time of day and, you know, if it's cloudy or if it's sunny. And all I can say is that it's, you can definitely see as, as kind of spring is approaching, even in the, you know, the last month or so, you know, the yield has definitely gone up. So let's have a look at the, um, let's have a look at the stats on this. So you can see we've had a few pretty blinding days, quite literally. Um, we got 1.21 as the maximum. That was a couple of days ago, um, 1.21 kilowatts, um, kilowatt hours. And then obviously, you know, the last few days have been have been very good. You know, I'm not sure how far we're going to go today. I don't think we're quite going to hit that. Um, but we've still got a few. We've still got a couple of hours left. Days are getting a bit longer as well. So you know, it might it might just um, creep up into the sort of 900. Um, region but this is really the thing guys the 90 volts 81 volts 90 volts you know 90 volts there 85 um, 88 volts so it's just it's just really high um, which is fine and um, the controller can handle it but it you know I'm just gonna try this parallel out and see um, see if see what happens right enough chat let's get on the roof okay so you can see here now a little bit grubby actually, could do with a, a little wipe. Right, so you can see here guys, here's the panels. Um, I don't actually know if I've shown you this yet, but um, I haven't mounted them, I haven't actually screwed them down properly yet. I'm still messing around, aren't I? So I haven't bothered, but they're basically propped up. You can see through there, there's like a little bracket and they just sit on the roof. Seem to work pretty well. But yeah, you can see a little bit of shadow at the moment from this, uh, from this mast that I've got, but I don't know if that's really gonna affect it. Anyway, it should be pretty easy to lift these up, he says. Um, and get at the connectors underneath. So I'll put the camera down and, um, and give this a shot. Right, I've wired them up. I'll tidy them wires up in a minute. Let's see what's happening in here. So, here we go. So voltage has come down to 38 volts, a bit more sensible. And um, we've got 6.8 going in on the amps as well. So, interestingly, is that a bit higher than before? Okay guys, so I just re-watched the clip on the camera just, you know, before I changed it to parallel setup. And it was like literally half of what it is um, now. I think it was it was like 3.8, wasn't it, or something? And it was sort of slowly creeping up. But we're now on like 6.8 amps, 97 watts. So if that's right, that's made a massive difference. Um, you know, we, to the end of the day, I was saying the sun's over there. So even though you can't actually see any visible shading on the on the panels when you look and with your eyes, as the sun's moving over that direction, perhaps it's actually, you know, one panel is slightly brighter than the other one, and then you're getting that restrictive um, thing happening. But we're sitting at almost like a solid 100 watts now. Look at that. So this is gonna be really interesting to see tomorrow, like the beginning of the day, right the way through to the end of the day, you know, the total yield um, with the parallel setup um, versus, the, um, versus the series setup. Obviously you can't really compare it because of the weather is always different, but um, you should be able to see. Right, if we just go into the battery monitor um, and I'll show you something else. So we've got minus 12 amp hours out. So realistically, for the rest of today, we're probably not gonna clear that. I'm also taking some current out as well at the moment because I'm, I've got the rest of the shed on. This midpoint voltage monitoring thing keeps popping up. I'm not sure why. Um, you can't seem to clear the notifications in here, I don't think. Um, I need to see. Ooh, what's this? This is new. This is what I love about this stuff. It's just constantly evolving. Like the software is just, they, every time they do an update, you know, you just get new stuff appearing. So I don't even know what this is, but I've started to play with it already. Um, you you can create a network based on the um, the different devices. So let's go back into, see this thing, see this thing here. Let's go into the solar charge controller and see if you can do the same in this one as well. Not sure, oh yeah, look, there you go. It's in there as well. So join existing network. I'm not actually sure what this does. So I've created a shed network here. Oh, maybe this is just so cool. Receive data here. So what does this allow you to do then? Well, I've stepped off on a bit of a tangent. You can actually, um, if you click on this little question mark up here, it's, it takes you to a web page, it explains it. So I'm gonna have a look at this video and see what, see what it's all about. 
Okay, just reading more into it, it seems like it's it's for um, smaller systems if you haven't got the Venus, in my case the Raspberry Pi um, running the Venus software. Um, so I think by doing this I'm probably going to or probably mess up that side of it so I think I'm just going to remove this for now but what's interesting is that this is kind of all possible so you can you can effectively link all the devices together without having the Raspberry Pi system so this is just this is coming on leaps and bounds all this stuff right I've reversed out of all that guys that was just not um, not what I wanted to do <laughs> it's, it'd be good if you didn't have if you don't have this system running then it'll be really good because it allows everything to sync together but obviously I've got the full blown monitoring system here so you don't really need that that side of it. So yeah, all's good. It's um, four o'clock, it's still chucking in um, 50 watts now. It's just so starting to tail now I think because of the sun's going down a bit, bit more cloudy. So yeah guys, I'll probably leave this here now and then um, I'll probably roll this video onto tomorrow morning and then I can show you what's, um, what's happening in the morning when you've definitely got that shade across the panels. Interesting stuff. And a big thanks to the guys that have mentioned to do this because um, I think this is going to work. I mean, it was Charles in um, Namibia, so nice one, matey. Right, and as if by magic, it's the next day. So we can see here, look at this shade here. So you can actually see it when we come back up here. But obviously, tiny bit of the panel's in the sun. And earlier, I was peeking at, it's just... Right, so it's quarter to nine and we're getting nearly five amps in so that is way more than i was getting before um with these panels on half shade i think we're probably somewhere we were probably somewhere around like half that so i can definitely see there's an improvement here um i mean the real test really if you go into sorry for doing this on the phone because i haven't turned anything on in here yet yeah so the real test would be to look at this um this shows you every hour um you know of yield so basically um it breaks it all right down which is pretty cool um, this is on the VRM panel um, with the Raspberry Pi setup. So, so yeah, you can compare this with like previous days. Yesterday was pretty sunny, um, so I don't know. I mean, I need, need probably need a bit more data to show, but you know, from there it doesn't show that there's massive difference. You can see activity starts happening um, from seven before seven o'clock. There, it was pretty sunny yesterday though. Um, today was not as sunny, and then today. That line seems a little bit higher. I'll wait until I've got a bit more data and then we should be able to see if there's a difference. Which is a good thing about this graph because you can actually compare it. Anyway guys, that's about it from me for this one. Um, I've got to go to London today. That'll be a separate video. Catch you in the next one.